Hi and welcome to the uh, Inven Geek High Voltage Controller Giant View Meter Project. Um, today we're going to be going over a big view meter over there and our control box. Uh, plans can be found on InventGeek.com with some instructions. Um, and uh, you know the view meter, well, that's just kind of our own little thing to demonstrate. We've got other projects we'll be using our controller on here in the near future. Um, so the controller is pretty simple. We've got a bunch of solid state relays hiding in there. Um, solid state relays, well, that's this little guy right here. Pretty cool stuff. Now, if you buy these here in the States, they're extraordinarily expensive, about 50 bucks each. Um, however, if you go to eBay, you can get these for uh, oh, somewhere around $10 each, which is a substantial savings. So what we have here is we have an MP3 player. We have a speaker, we have our control box, and we have our view meter controller. Okay, This is a pretty simple circuit. You can find this all over the place online. We'll take and post a copy on the website somewhere too. Um, and basically, we've just got our audio connection coming from our, our MP3 player into it on one side, and then on the other side here, we've got that going out to a speaker. Okay. What that allows us to do is just do some pass through here so we can get our audio and our effect at the same time. Um, a lot of really hard to see wiring in here going from these relays um, over to the plug outlets. Um, plug outlets come down here, horrible mess, and up to our light bulbs. But we don't care about that because at this point I kind of just chop things out, don't really care, and move on to other projects that this is meant for. Um, our controller requires a 12 volt battery pack, so we have space for that. And we have our power switch back here, illuminated switch, lets us know it's on. In the future we'll get smarter and um, throw in a, a power supply 12 volt instead of just running off the extension cord that we have coming in here. But this provides power to everything that you run on this uh, circuit, so um, kind of cool. Anyways, uh, let's see this thing work. I'm going to set a little mood lighting. Oh boy, I feel like I'm in the mood now. We're gonna hit play. I woke up this morning clouded with my doubts. I wanted to hear you calling my name out. I wanted so badly to trust you. Now, one thing to note here, um, let's see if I can actually unhook the audio, that way I can talk while this is actually running. There we go. We're using light bulbs. And the problem with light bulbs is they have a filament that actually gets hot. You have to heat it up and cool it down. So for the effect of a view meter, what we're getting right now is, well, it's a little bit slurred. It's like it's had one too many beers. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not crisp. We're not going all the way up, all the way down. This is easily replaced out with uh, LEDs. But for what we're doing here for our test, we chose these, uh, these light bulbs. They work pretty good. It's pretty cool. If you use a slower effect, or if you hook an Arduino up to this, um, and you're running your, your solid state relays here off of an Arduino, you can get great effects and light bulbs work great if it's just a little bit slower than what a view meter is. Anyways, we kind of hope you enjoyed this little overview. Anyways, the InventGeek uh, view meter high voltage controller project. Uh, you can check InventGeek.com and we have plans and projects and all sorts of cool stuff. Go there, jump on Twitter, jump on Facebook, help support us and uh, grow us. Thanks.